Well, Python uh, 3.7 will be coming out soon. Uh, betas are available now, uh, and it's expected that the final uh, version will be out in the uh, middle of June. You can see from here. Uh, we're going to be talking specifically about the new data class uh, in Python. And the data class, let's just show you an example. Declare a class with a, a special decorator called data class, which you have to import a library for. And then you can just have some fields or attributes and specify their types, and you can have initial values, and it will automatically generate um, those attributes. And it's kind of like using the structs in C. You can define some just simple fields for a class, have them work well. Uh, the advantage of the data class, you should read this uh, PEP. Uh, number 557, five, which we're going to give you the link for in the video description, uh, has more detail because it does a lot of things for you, including uh, at a, a default init and, uh, and some other things. So we're going to jump in, and what we're interested in is comparing this new data class with some other ways of doing it, the traditional uh, attributes that you have in a class, and also slots. So I'm in TextMate here. Uh, and I have this file available, and I have a short a shortener here that points to a, 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 a GitHub gist for it. Uh, and this will also be in the video description. And uh, so to use data classes, you have to import them from uh, new data classes. We're running this in uh, version 3.7 beta 1. I think beta 2 is out, but this is what I have installed. Um, we're going to be looking at the uh, standard class way of doing it compared to uh, slots and also compared to the new data class. Uh, so we're going to be timing it a little later, so I've imported the time it module. And I just have a definition here I'm going to use in all three of my class definitions to implement the string. Um, and so we just have a uh, returning a standard string for a point. And we're going to show this using a point uh, with x, y, and z. So here's the standard way you might do it in a class, uh, a point uh, way of doing it in a standard class. In the init, you could give x, y, and z uh, uh, an, a default values. And then you're just going to create uh, three uh, uh, object attributes, x, y, and z, from the parameters for the constructor. And then here we define the string attribute. Uh, just to use this one I defined up here. So that's going to just format to output the string. So here it is uh, using slots. Now slots have been around for a long time and they're both more memory efficient and they're faster than the normal class attributes. So we're going to time this later. So we just create some slots and define we want a x, y, and z slot. And that creates our attributes. But when you do this and use slots, it turns off the normal um, dictionary that allows you attributes in a class, you can't add more attributes later. So you get uh, a better speed and efficiency of memory, at the, uh, but you lose the flexibility of, of uh, redefining things later in the class or adding new attributes. Uh, then we have the same init, uh, the attributes are already made, so you'll see it looks the same in here and the same string. Now we have the data class. So the data class, which you have to be running uh, 3.7 to see and run, uh, you have a class definition, and you preface it with this decorator. And this decorator is imported from this library here, data classes. So, And then uh, you have, they call these fields, but they're just attributes of the new object. So you define your fields and you define their type. And one of the advantages of data classes is you can, uh, you can use the type information in the future. Uh, so we have some initial values. These are optional to give it initial values. And it automatically creates a constructor for you, which is equivalent to the one up here. It'll set your initial values, or you can pass it parameters. And then we define string. So let's try them out. So here we create a, uh, a standard class with no parameters and a standard class with uh, x, y, and z as 1, 2, and 3. And then we do the same thing for a slots class and the same thing for a data class. So we end up with uh, all these six objects and we just print them out. And then I have exit. I'll show you the rest of the code later. So let's go ahead and run this. And I have uh, 3.7 installed on my Mac. 
So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And you can see it prints out uh, from those three, six objects. So the, each pair is a different way of doing this in a class. So now let's look at timing. So let me remove this exit or just comment it out. So timing it, we're going to use time it. Uh, we're going to create, uh, 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 we're going to time object creation, uh, attribute access, and attribute assignment. Those are the, probably the three main things you'd want to time. And so we're going to time, uh, let's see, we have to import our name of our class here. And then we're going to create uh, an object of each class. And we're going to time that and just print out the times. Then we're going to uh, uh, import our three classes again. And we're also going to create an object. So this is in the setup for the timer. And what we're actually going to time is accessing uh, P of X. So we, for the three types of classes. And then we're going to uh, do the same thing, create a, a point. Um, P from the standard class, and we're going to set X to a value, so we're, we're testing assignment for the three classes. And in all three cases, we print the times, and let's look at how uh, they perform. So let's go ahead and uh, save this and run it here. And you can see here's the uh, creation, and here's the standard class takes uh, 0.41 uh, and it runs this a million times, so this actually becomes, I think, in um, microseconds, so 0.41 microseconds. Uh, the slots class, you can see, is faster by quite a bit from the standard class. Uh, and the data class is a little slower. It's closer to the standard class. Uh, access, so this is the creation. It's the slowest thing. Uh, access and storing an individual attribute are a lot faster than that operation. You can see the standard class is 0.38. The slots class is just a little faster. And the data class is a little slower. And then the uh, assignment, you'll see the slots class is uh, faster than the standard class. And the data class is about the same as the standard class, just a little faster. Now let's run it again, see if we get some different numbers. Let me clear the uh, screen. And you can see you do get some variation, of course, because I'm on a, a, a computer that's doing other things. Uh, but you can see the slots class beats out the standard class uh, in, in uh, both all three areas. So if you want the fastest thing, you'd still go with slots. Uh, but if you want the most convenience uh, in, and in terms of syntactical sugar uh, and things you can do, you can use the new data class, which is really nice. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll see an icon in the lower right corner you can do that with.